Part 5 The Anatomy of the Lower Limbs In this video, you will continue to discover the bones and muscles of the lower limbs. In previous videos, you already examined the construction of the lower limb bones as well as the muscles of the front and back portions of the upper and lower legs. Here, we will examine how bones and muscles appear from the side view. Once again, I will begin with the skeletal anatomy. The pelvis consists of the ilium bones, the sitting bones, the pubic bone, and the sacrum. The thigh bone is arched forward. At its bottom edge, this bone ends in the cylindrical shape of the condyle. This rounded surface is part of the knee joint. The thigh bone is supported by the shin bone, which is the lower leg bone. The upper part of the shin bone is referred to as the condyle of the tibia. Just below the knee, in the front, there is the tibial tuberosity which is an important landmark for a fine artist. The buttocks muscle, which is called the gluteus maximus, starts from the back edge of the pelvis and inserts into the upper part of the thigh bone. This muscle is part of the gluteal group which consists of three muscles. The gluteus maximus is the most powerful of the three muscles. It moves the thigh backward and also assists in rotating the upper leg outward. Another muscle of this group is the gluteus medius. It starts from the outer surface of the ilium bone of the pelvis and inserts into the upper edge of the thigh bone. This muscle moves the upper leg sideways and away from the body and also assists in the medial rotation of the upper leg. The calf muscle is located on the back side of the lower leg. It has two portions. They start from the back surface of the condyles of the femur and go downward to join the common tendon which inserts into the heel bone. This muscle assists in the flexion of the lower leg at the knee. It also takes part in flexing the foot downward as well as raising the heel from the ground when standing tiptoe. 